The second Hatfield bus garage was located in St Albans Road East and opened on the 18th of February 1959. It replaced the original Hatfield garage opened by National. It is also in St Albans Road East, almost diagonally opposite. Last day as a fully operational garage was Tuesday the 6th of February 1990, but new schedules were introduced on Monday the 5th of February, which is when the newly acquired Welling Hatfield line based in Cody Coat Road, Welling operations were integrated into the Sovereign Network. But in 1988, there was a strike which resulted in London Country North East losing the contracts for the 292, 298 and 313. And, um, and as a result, Hatfield was reduced to an outstation of Albans from the 4th of June, with just uh, eight uh, Leyland Nationals parked overnight for the 330, 333 and 366. Uh, when London County North East was restructured, Hatfield was upgraded back to full garage status from the 3rd of September to give the Sovereign uh, side of the operation a long-term base. Um, and these are further details which uh, will be posted uh, underneath the operator at the end was Sovereign Bus and Coach. Most of the former garage site is now housing access via Hayford Way with an office block facing Sorbans Road East and these are the sources. If we go to the LT Museum site, this is taken from Sorbans Road East. Uh, the railway line is to the right uh, behind the office building and you can see the garage in the background. Uh, and I've done a, a map of uh, a, kind of, a kind of shadow, a ghost map of the area. So this was the area of the garage. Uh, the railway line to uh, Sorbonne's Abbey curved around behind. And this is the site of the office building. And this is approximately the site of the bus garage. Uh, this is another view of the uh, office building with the porthole, which is... Um, uh, like a signature of uh, a couple of these garages in the late 50s and this is a view further in uh, looking at the uh, at the bus uh, the bus garage itself and these are all photos by Dr Heinz Zinram in dated no uh, February 1959 if we go to um, Google and then go into street view um, this is the site as it appears today so this is roughly where the um, offices would have been. And the entrance was slightly more to the right. The only thing that survives is uh, here is uh, is like an electricity substation. And if you look at some of the old uh, photographs, this is uh, surrounded by railings in the older photograph. And that is uh, the only link to the past, unless, of course, these houses uh, are viewed but um, this is what the site uh, of the second Hatfield bus garage uh, looks like today.